This is a one grid square on Rust. What happens if we fill this one grid square with shops as a solo player? Here we go, the first vending machine is down. I think the first thing that we should research is probably the double barrel because a lot of people are going to want to buy that as it is wipe day. Uh, and I've got a bunch of other things that we need to research too. We've got the SAR, which I got earlier. Is the DB researched. I think we should sell stuff for scrap because that's probably going to be the hardest thing to get. Scrap and HQM. Uh, HQM is going to be to build more shops and scrap's going to be obviously to research the stuff to sell in the shops. Do you know what else helps you sell things in shops? A message from Corporate Brit from today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Unless you live under a rock, you probably know what Surfshark VPN is. It's an easy to use app and browser extension that gives you the ability to appear from anywhere in the world. It basically means you can watch US Netflix if you're from the UK or vice versa. It also encrypts all of your data so it can keep you safe and it hides your browser activity. And it includes its clean web software which hides all the rubbish on the internet. And one of the best things with Surfshark VPN is they allow you to use unlimited devices. So that means you can have it on your PC and your phone and it wouldn't even matter. And one of my favorite features is it removes that cookie pop-up that's on almost every single website these days with just one click of a button and it does this. You can connect to over 3,200 servers in 65 different countries. If you've been liking the content and you want to help out the channel, this is a really good way of doing it. The link in the description gets you 83% off plus three months for free. All you got to do is use code BRIT at checkout. Thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Enjoy. Um, so let's go out and gather some gears and hopefully we can find some. I went to the local supermarket and gathered the required items to craft a double barrel. Metal and pipes. Is that it? I think it is. Yeah, DBs. There you go. Make two of them. Uh, and then we can research the Revy. Yeah, we can. We've got 125 scrap. I'm going to name it the first shop. The first shop. Hopefully, there's going to be multiple shops in this grid. And they're all going to be mine. Oh, and it wouldn't be a video of mine unless I researched the compound bow. Boom. Compound bow. Right, let's make a few and um, sell them. And that's exactly what I did. I crafted up a bunch of compound bows and put them in the shop to sell. And the rest of the day was spent gathering up resources and supplies. And on the second day, it was time to build the second shop. All right, that's the second vending machine set up, as you can see on the map. There's nothing in it yet, but there's one and number two. Eventually, we should hopefully have at least half of this square filled up. But I'm going to go and grab some ri semi-rifle bodies to try and fill this one with guns. That is the plan. This is going to be the gun shop. going he said on the last arrow Ooh. semi rifle bodies yeah you had two nice let's go that was so sketchy <laughs> i'm surprised i won that fight that was awful sweet made it home no. oh Hell yeah. All right. Anything sold? Oh, some other things sold. Oh, a rifle ammo sold. Nice. 174 scrap. Hell yeah. After farming a bunch and getting enough scrap to research the semi-rifle, I crafted a few and put them in the second shop. All right, I'm crafting the first semi-rifle for the second shop. Oh, actually, no, let's give it, let's give it a fancy skin at least. Uh, and the 5.5 five is still... I think it's still selling. Let's have a little look. Uh, how... How do I get pumpkins in there? <laughs> I took the scrap that I gathered so far and went to buy a boat. With the idea being that you can farm a lot of scrap on the ocean. Uh, there's guys by my boat. Ah. And they drove off. Oh well, let's keep looting. Wait, is that a boat? When I got back, I realized that my base could do with some upgrades. So I spent most of the third day just farming up and getting enough resources to upgrade my base. And on the fourth day, I realized if I really wanted to get some scrap, we're gonna have to start doing some serious monuments. All right, I think we're almost there. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, so close. Okay. I'm hoping that nobody's there. There it is. The underwater labs. This is horrible. I don't like this place. All right, I'm going to go. Look how much loot you get from one run. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, let's go try and find my boat. I'm going to try and ditch at Outpost and try and recycle. Because I have a lot of stuff to recycle. I can probably research the bean can, actually. Let's hope I can get to the Outpost safe zone. Oh, please. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. Right, let's uh, recycle everything. And research a bunch of things. Especially like med pen and stuff. That's going to be real good in the shops. After recycling everything we got at Underwater Labs, we ended up with around about 800 scrap. So I researched a bunch of items that I thought would sell in the shop overnight. And then I stumbled across something that would make me absolute bank. Nice. Uh, let's go have a look on the market. See if there's anyone selling a satchel charge. Oh, this guy's coming in hot. <laughs> Nobody's selling satchel charge. Okay. Could we research down to satchel charge on the tier one? Is that expensive? Nobody's selling it. Then maybe we can make some bank. Where is satchel? Ah. Uh, oof. What do we, oh, I need... Wait, what? Why can't I get it? Huh? Oh, that one. All right, we got satchel. Okay, that's cool. So we can make satchels and bean cans, put them in the shops. That's good. The idea behind building all the different shops was to put all the different kinds of items in each one. So now I researched explosives, it was time to build the explosive shop. Okay, I think I'm going to build the third vending machine shop for the explosive stuff. craft myself another vending machine all right the third shop is up and running nice let's stick the uh, explosive stuff in there uh, the third shop and then it sells satchel charge nobody else is selling this so I can sell this for anything so let's do a hundred scrap bean can for like 40 scrap the garage door I'm gonna do scrap to and that's going to be 100 scrap. Don't know if anyone else is selling a garage door on a map. They probably will. It's quite a popular item that people want, right? All right. That's good to go. Let's let that do its thing. Uh, and as you... Oh, looks like someone's going to oil. As you can see, we've got three shops on the map now. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there slowly. As my recording day was coming to an end, I decided to farm up some stuff to keep in the base for overnight. And then it was the start of IRL day number two. All right, this is the next day. Let's go and see what we've got in our vending machines. It's been a full 24 hours since I logged on last. And, oh yeah. Oh, it's all gone. Oh, that feels good. Let's go have a look at the others. Uh, has anything changed around here? That door has gone from that base. Uh, other than that, nope, nothing's changed. Let's check this vending machine, see if there's anything, anything in here. Oh, yeah. Damn, son. That's a lot of scrap already. Good stuff. I have high hopes for this one because it was the explosives and all the higher tier stuff. Go! Oh, 693 scrap. Dude. That's insane. Uh, let's run this back quickly before I die. That's a lot of scrap. So overnight, by doing nothing, I've made basically a thousand scrap. That's so good. Okay, what can we do with that? We could probably research a few things, right? Oh, look. Uh, is there anything we could sell? Uh, not really. That's not really that much scrap, is it? On the research table, anyway. I'm actually going to research the hazmat suit so I can uh, craft them because I have no armor right now. I've got cloth and low grade. Yeah, so I can make meds. I've 
I've got any metal left, which I don't think I have. After restocking my vending machines and hitting up underwater labs again for scrap, I started building the fourth shop. And with that came absolute carnage. I just kill a guy. I just killed a guy. Uh. Uh. This is not good. I don't want to fight. I'm just a humble builder. Why is there so many people at my base? Oh my god. Oh my god, a Thompson. A Thompson. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Oh, I've actually needed a Thompson for ages. I've been looking for a Thompson this entire time of playing this white. And if I get out of this alive, we could research it and sell it in the shop. Oh my days. Okay, that's amazing. I need to be able to get out of here alive. Ah, uh, uh, what do I do? Another guy there, dead. Is that Sar on the floor? Okay. 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 Uh, I need to get these, these, these Thompsons home. That's like the priority. I don't really care about that guy's body. Okay, there's one guy outside. I might have to try and kill him. He's not going to let me leave without me. Why is there so many bodies here? Like, literally. Whoa. Okay, I'm running home. I don't care. Oh my god. Metal face mask. I went home and researched the Thompson and put them in my shop. Unfortunately, I didn't have much time to play that day. So I called it there and we knocked <coughs> off back in the morning. And the third day begins. And we haven't been raided. Very cool. And are the shops selling still, maybe? 50? Okay, that's not great. That's not great. Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's go check the other three. Okay, at least they're still standing. They haven't been raided. That's good. Oh, my neighbor's base decayed. Aww. <laughs> oh, poor dude. Stop playing. Okay, let's check out the second base. I think this one was weapons. Whoa! Okay. And gears. Oh. Hell. Dude. Didn't expect that. Okay, that's sick. That's a lot of scrap. Especially for like overnight doing nothing. Very cool. Let's put that inside. How much scrap do I have now? 1.3k. Damn. Uh, I don't I can't even remember what I put in this to be honest. Oh, it sold out. Whatever is in there. 200 scrap. <laughs> Sweet. And the final shop. Again. Can't remember. Pretty sure this was clothing. Probably clothing. I think it was clothing. That's decaying. Hey, 50 scrap and two gears. That's all right. It's not bad. 
Oh, that's actually going to break really soon. Let's get some stone in there. The first thing I did was hit up train yard to try and get a red card. Oh, no, saw. Okay, that's good. gonna be up there in a minute hopefully he doesn't see me cool. after looting train yard and getting a red card i moved on to trying to do oil rig hello oil rig Why isn't it landing? What? This is weird. After finding a rocket in the crate, I got the inspiration to try and do my first raid. I found a base that was almost decayed, but only had one half a garage door left. So I crafted up a bunch of satchels and went over there. I'm hoping that it's decayed a bit more. It should have, right? It should have. Usually it takes 10 satchels for a garage door, but because it's decayed, maybe we can do it in seven. I really hope. And then hopefully we can get the TC and take that tier three workbench. Hopefully it doesn't destroy the tier three. Imagine if all of them go off. Ah. Oh, that one. Yeah. What's it on? 12. Come on, man. So we can make a bean can. It's fine. We got it. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's go. I really hope this space is loaded. A garage door with fully HQM. We might, we might get lucky here. I'm really hoping so. All right, here we go. One bean can. Please don't be like two garage doors or another garage door. I'd be so mad. Here we go. Oh, oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> Any food, anyone? Oh, I painfully crafted up another three satchels and returned. Here we go. Sit on. 209. Okay, one more. Did it break? Yes. Oh. Oh, C4. Oh, my days. Uh, can I? I can't get TC. Okay. Alright, at least we're safe. We are safe. <laughs> How much loot did we get? Ooh, that's actually quite good. Damn, that's a lot of bullets. Sulfur. Armor. Sulfur. Guns, tier two. Red cards. Damn, son. And that's what you get for building a bunch of shops as a solo player in Rust. In the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be uploading a dedicated sponsored video. I just want to let you know so when you see it, you can click on it. Love you. Bye. <laughs>